So I thought it'd be fun to take a couple minutes just to get used to using our little lino blocks that we have cut out into our floral shapes. And so uh, let's just go ahead and grab some, some of your favorite papers, some just papers that you like to collage. These are just some black and white florals. I have some tracing paper. This was some uh, tea stained paper, um, so antique uh, book paper. And so just grab a couple of your, your favorites and we're going to go ahead and just play on these. And we're going to do some of the, the techniques that we'll be using with our modeling paste and our spread and hopefully use some of these also for, uh, creating a little vase for our floral spread today. And then the others we can just save. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some, um, some modeling paste and I really, there's all different kinds of light modeling paste and to heavier. I really, this is probably my favorite, the Liquitex light modeling paste. It just has a really just nice frosting kind of consistency and it still has a little bit of its transparency. So I'm just going to get some of that out. I also really like using a, a color shaper, so I'm going to use this, you know, silicone rubber cover, uh, color shaper to mix. You can use anything that you have on hand. A palette knife would be great, whatever you have. So I'm just going to mix up a couple colors and I'm going to go ahead. I have some of my favorite watercolors here, some raw siennas, some greens, some pinks, Payne's gray, and these are ocean paper and Daniel, Daniel Smith really love both of those but again whatever whatever you have on hand use okay and i'm just gonna really lightly mix in our watercolors with our modeling paste and as you can see it create it doesn't take much to create just this really light beautiful pink tone which i love and so i'm gonna mix up little bit of pink and then I think I'll do a little bit of green just kind of to get a couple different colors you can also just use modeling paste on its own you can mix it with acrylics I really love mixing it with watercolor because it's so soft. You just get these really just soft, soft tones and it still re can, it still keeps its, uh, its transparency. So, okay. And then I think I just want to do, let's go ahead and mix one more. That's maybe a little bit deeper. So I'll add a little bit more of the pigment here maybe a little green to darken it up all right let's see and just i hope this is just fun for you guys to play you know to get out your watercolors some modeling paste do some mixing and some you know carving into with our linos and just like the, the options are endless which is one of the reasons i love it so much Okay, so I just want to take a couple minutes. I'm going to use our stamps and so and just start adding just a, a couple little fun things to to uh, my collage papers. I really love like black and white pictures. Just just you know finding a couple places to accentuate the flowers. It's just really fun. Let me bring you in closer so you guys can see. Here we go. Okay. Just kind of a fun way to add a little bit of color. Can use, uh, you can use a palette knife, you can use a paintbrush. Okay. So just added a real little to just bring just some life to, to the floral. And some other ways that I would love for us to explore is going to be stamping into with the watercolor. So I'm just gonna spread my modeling paste out just in a little area. And these are gonna 
help us create really beautiful texture in our spread. Uh, let's take let's take this flower, and I think I will just add some watercolor. So we use our lino, get that some of that watercolor in there, real nice. And then I'm going to stamp it right in to the wet modeling paste. And it just creates these really beautiful moments. Can you see that texture? And so we're going to be doing some of that on our piece as well for our art journal. And so just have fun and play and try different, try different stamps with the watercolor, different colors. Let's do, let's do one of our leaf shapes and see what that, that does. Okay, so I'm getting some watercolor on it and we are gonna stamp it right in. Ooh, you see that, it's not so pretty. You can move it, you can stamp and then like, you know, twist, right? To get a different effect, right? We can mix up, just spread out some, some of our modeling paste and then we can just stamp right into it as it is without the watercolor and it just creates a little bit of a different a little bit of a different look and if we wanted to when it dried we could come in with watercolors or just leave it and then of course we can just use our use our stamps as they are right so just kind of have fun. I love the different marks that are made. You can, again, move your stamps around. So pretty, I love that. So I hope this is just really fun. Just grab your stamps and your the, all the linos that you cut out and just have fun. There's just so many options. And just, you know, you can do patterns. What I like to do too is they can build on each other, you know, so I can kind of move them around to start forming maybe one large flower. Okay, so just have fun making marks on your papers. mixing and pressing into and um, just painting with with painting and lino printing and now we have this just really fun sweet collection of papers collage papers that we'll use a couple for this art spread and then we'll also have a lot of extras for for future uh, journal spreads so I hope that was just super fun for you and that you just kind of let go and play